House of Reps Majority Leader Dogowa bounces back, flaws NMPP's Salisu to secure fifth term. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot GC news updates, please click on the notification bell. Majority Leader of the House of Representatives Al Hazan Adu Dogowa has been declared winner of Dogowa and Tondamwada Federal Constituency. The returning officer, Professor Sani Ibrahim, who announced the results at the just concluded supplementary elections held across eight wards in Tondamwada local government, said Dogowa scored the highest vote cast of 41,573 votes. His closest rival, Yushahu Salisu of the New Nigerian People's Party, NMPP, polled 34,831 votes. News Direct reports that February election was declared inconclusive in the constituency due to violence and overvoting. Also, the returning officer for the election on February 25th, Ibrahim Adamo Yakasai, had reported that he announced the result under duress. Yakasai had initially declared the Goa the winner, but INEC subsequently voided the process. The Goa, who is now going to the Green Chamber for the fifth term, is believed to be among the top contenders for the position of the Speaker. Now, the thing is, so far, oh, we don't even know what to believe now. So far, Nahim, after doing the election, they said they did a rerun, no problem. After the rerun, he still emerged the winner, no wahala. I just hope he's the people's choice. And me, I have a problem with him going there for the fifth term. You see, I think there should be a law, they should sign a bill into law concerning how many terms you can actually come into work. Sincerely. There should be the number of times she's a coming. It should not be or if you continue winning. We need breath of fresh air. Not just a, imagine an organization. Imagine an organization where the people who came in, they continue to be in the organization at the top positions. So nobody's allowing people who are fresh bringing ideas into the company or the organization. Do you know how stunted that company will be? I don't know if you understand me. It is when you start allowing people to contribute. Hmm? Allowing people to, you know, bring your own style of leadership. That is when you are going to start saying different ideas from different corners. Now imagine, I'm saying organization, imagine Nigeria. Person way small, you know from small, oh, this person, maybe the, maybe the local government, uh, Council chairman, you understand? You know, from when you did, uh, 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 let me say, eight years, you reach 16 years, then say, say Nahin, you reach uh, 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 24, you see, Nahin, you still reach, uh, 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 what's that they call? Uh, 32. Ah, ah. You know, they, what, what's going on? They say that this person is the smartest and they don't, cannot find any other person in the local government to replace him. That is what I'm saying. See, me, I believe that if they start giving people time, give people time, you rule there for two terms or three terms, you carry yourself, and that two or three terms, two terms, you maybe can come outside and rule for something else. But then it's a way make and pass that two terms, enter three terms, you cannot come out for any position. Meaning, if you're a local government chairman, you're a speaker, you're a senator, whatever, for two terms, and you come outside, you can run. For the president, as a let me say, for the presidency, or in this case now, he can run to become a, a let's say a governor. I don't know if I'm making sense, but if you don't pass him, you don't pass two term, later three term, <laughs> that person they need, they need to look into it. I don't know if I'm making sense. Now, when you start to get fresh ideas, you allow make new people come into the system, new ideas, fresh pe people will be say. Then be, people will be, ah, their brains say they hot. They will come suggest things. And then that thing you will look into it and say, oh, there's actually good like this. Okay. What about his outstanding mother case? Does this man have a mother case? He has a mother case and he was allowed to contest. <laughs> Bounce back from prison or grave. What about those he killed heartlessly? Well, so do you know that I had no idea? Hey. Why be saying Amid always they hear this this just last? Eh? Yeah. So this man, he killed people. Wow. And they allowed him to contest. 
<laughs> anyway, like I said, nothing they shock me again for this country. Nothing if he shock me again. So this man actually had a he has a kiss. Not even just maybe Molly lunch. Even Molly lunch yourself is a huge one. Not even say okay, small case. What they call this small small case now in Nigeria. You have a case as huge as mother. And they allow this guy to contest for election. <laughs> okay. This is the problem of Nigeria. During the last election, we were told how Dogo was arrested after killing people with gun. He collected from his security aid. But today, he's now been elected instead of facing punishment. And tell me, this man will go about. He's a full-grown man. But I feel he's going to go about thinking and nothing will he do me. So they actually rewarded him for killing people. I just, his, the news article I read about him just flashed back. Wait, wait. So after he took the gun from the security agent and shot at people, I don't know the reason. Maybe they don't vote for her. Or maybe they say they don't go vote for her. Then after now killing those people, he now comes out and they now say he's the winner. That means they are rewarding him for killing people. <laughs> Applaudy say. No, ah, ah, applaudy say. Eh, congratulations. Hmm. Now, wow. Congratulations, the Honorable Senator. is a long fight, but you can't represent your people well so that they can enjoy the dividend. Unless this, uh, was this case now, this is case now. What's it called? This is case now, I'm hearing. Unless it's not true. But if it is true, you know, good. This is rewarding crime. This is exonerating crime. So that tomorrow, if you're the next crime finish, crime can't become... Can't carry chair, can't sit down inside your country. You know, go complain, no? Okay. Is it not the APC man that committed that sin and people lost their lives? So APC wants to cover up the murder case against him. My dear, I tire. What is really going on? Was it the man that committed murder and arson? What's in the happen for this country, I beg? We are fast becoming a third world country with criminals in leadership position. Now, wow, Nigeria, which way? For every time you silence justice, injustice will continue to thrive. For every time you silence truth, lies will continue to thrive. For every time you silence merit, eh? unintelligent and these things if you keep silencing it in the nation that nation will continue to suffer the citizens will continue to suffer it will be like saying that they will find god pass same person that kills people and still have court case win election again ha this country needs serious miracle to survive as a country i don't shut off my own except what what i'm hearing is not is not true but if it is true i kill you not this this uh, people even give us this uh, what's it called we even declare the winner. They don't even try. Those people, they even, they even need to carry them go some psychiatrists. Make the person check them. But other than they okay. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.